For Fox Carolina weather, weather rate certified most accurate local forecast. Well, Ada has been the storm that we've been tracking for well over a week now, and it's going to be in the Gulf for another few days before it could potentially impact uh, another portion of the U.S. Already moved over the Keys, is sitting in the eastern, southeastern Gulf of Mexico, and it's expected to very slowly make its way north. In fact, it's going to dive south just briefly and then start to move north. And most of the computer models trying to push it a little closer to the New Orleans area, but eventually send us a little bit of rain out of it potentially this weekend, but it would be diminishing to a tropical depression as we get toward the end of the week. So that part's good news, but some heavy rain will move up likely along the southeast. Computer models are not in complete agreement about that, though, but that is the trend we're seeing right now. So we'll continue to keep you posted. But meanwhile, we have a flow coming in out of the Atlantic that's helping to increase our rain chances and nothing really yet in the upstate. But we've got some showers around the Columbia area. Those could pick up uh, for upstate spots overnight tonight and into early tomorrow, but nothing widespread or heavy expected until late Tuesday. Tuesday into Wednesday. 70s out there right now, really nice. 73 in Greenville, 70 for Rutherfordton, sitting at 62 in Waynesville, 75 in Hartwell. As we go into tonight, temps will drop to right around 60 degrees, so certainly a mild overnight, probably having to run the air conditioner like you have maybe the past couple nights. Isolated showers possible mid 50s for Western North Carolina with a few spotty showers, and then that'll carry into the early part of tomorrow and throughout the day. Off and on rain, temperatures warming to around 70 by late in the afternoon and you can see the shower activity not all that heavy but it's kind of lingering off and on throughout the entire day so no no time will you be completely safe from getting soaked light to moderate rain at 8 p.m on tuesday then wednesday morning starts with a few showers and then we'll start to see the heavier rain pick up this is when a cold front passes through so this will help to focus some heavier rain may hear some rumbles of thunder but the severe threat right now looks pretty low with the system and then and by Thursday, still more of the clouds and the showers, but those should slowly start to dissipate into the end of Thursday and into Friday. Here's a look at a rain total estimate. One of our computer models basically putting out about one to possibly up to three inches of rain in the upstate and a little bit less up in the northern mountains. But overall, it's going to be a pretty good soaking rain for us. And there will be rain around off and on starting late tonight and really through Thursday. But by Friday, it appears we're going to start to clear out and then we'll be watching for what's left of Ada to make a run at the Gulf Coast and it could hook up with a front and bring some rain to us. So I don't expect it to necessarily move over our area and bring us rain, but the front could help to at least pull some of the moisture our direction and we'll keep you posted on that. Of course, for the latest, you'll want to download our Fox Carolina app for the for much more on the tropics as well as breaking news and of course traffic too.